Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood gaming editor, Gordon Holmes here, uh, your uh, party captain on a booze cruise of Wake Wall and Palm Pack. Give yourself 10 survivor points if you get that reference. Uh, survivor points have no monetary value. Uh, with today's uh, exit interview for Survivor, uh, four quick orders of business before we get into it. First of all, the comment section is open, so feel free to talk about the episode, this interview, your favorite color, your pets, I don't care. I got three simple rules. One, be nice to each other. Two, be nice to the contestant. And three, ultimately, and most importantly, be nice to me. Uh, next, if you are an Xfinity subscriber on X1, just say Survivor in your Xfinity voice remote. You get taken to a page where you can watch full episodes, set your DVR, and watch all of these interviews. Uh, all that Once they're posted on YouTube, they immediately show up in a row. If you sc scroll down just a little bit, you'll find all of the exit press for Survivor 42 and also Survivor 41's there as well. So there's a ton of Survivor content. Uh, next, if you need to get hold of me personally, uh, if you need, need, need to get my attention, um, Twitter is the best way to do that. That's at Gordon Holmes. Uh, and finally, like this video, subscribe to this channel. It does us a huge favor. It gets it in front of more people, more Survivor fans, and it makes me feel good about myself, uh, which is ultimately what this is all about. Uh, with that out of the way, let's see what Chanel has to say about last night's episode. Oh, Chanel, welcome to my hangout. Thank you. I'm super excited. Good. Me too. Um, although I hate to start this with, a, uh, this is going to blow your mind. Ready? Okay. Yes. Mike can hold a grudge. He can. He yeah, can. he can. Yeah. I mean, we on multiple occasions made the exact same move and uh, I let it go, but you know, he didn't. We see like he lost his vote and didn't tell me I lost my vote. I didn't tell him. <laughs> he voted for me. Uh, I voted for him for the exact same reasons. And so I personally like moved on from it very, very uh, quickly, but you know, he really held on to that um, and took it personally when it really wasn't personal at all. It was very much like survival. It, it seemed like there was a, a shift last night to focus on Romeo instead of you, that it seemed like he shifted back in the other direction. Did you feel any of that going on when you were on the beach? <sighs> sort of. So like, I could see that Romeo was like kind of unraveling. Um, and so I didn't realize like how bad it was until after, but like, I was like, okay, well, like, I'm gonna let him kind of just like have his moment. And then I'm going to then like, essentially like kind of sit back and allow that heat to come off of me, which we saw that it, it, it did, it, it kind mm -hmm. of worked. And honestly, I thought that that was my best strategy in play for, that was my best strategy in play for that, for the position that I was in, because like at that point, no one was gonna jump in front of a train to save me. Um, and so like you could scramble and let's like, I, I had conversations with everyone. I had multiple conversations with everyone, but like you could scramble and like try and get the vote to change, but like no one was going to jump in front of a train. And so what I was going to do is just step back and hopefully that train was going to hit somebody else. Uh, I noticed you, you kept your shot in the dark in your pocket. Uh, what, what's the, the rationale? The here. Oh, kidding. there you go. <laughs> that, th those are eBay gold Chanel. If you ever need a couple bucks. I mean, I might since I'm not a millionaire, but um, no, not I <laughs> I would say one of my biggest regrets is not playing my shot in the dark. Mm -hmm. Like I, yeah, I didn't know that the bullseye was right on my head. I knew I was on the outs. I knew that I was like potentially like a target. I did not realize the bullseye was right on my head. Uh, yeah. It seemed like uh, Omer had wanted to work with you but uh, I believe it was high point him in, you know, said that he was, didn't have a vote and that, that things didn't work out for you two on the island of excessive advantages. What was your relationship like with Omar? Because it seemed like he's trying to work with everybody. Um, but did, did it seem like maybe he was shying away from you or did you think he was still on your side? No, I feel like I had a really good relationship with Omer. Um, and like, let me clarify, I absolutely told him that he did not have a vote <laughs> okay. when he got to tribal. Uh, or when, you know, when we, uh, since when I went to tribal, but I, I did feel like we were actually really working together. I think that he got too poisoned though by stories about me that made it like too dangerous to work with me. Like I said, like mm -hmm. that early in the game with 11 people in, no one's going to jump in front of a bus. And like, I'm not sure if I would objectively like encourage anyone to do that, you know? So like, it makes sense, but Omer and I, I, I did feel like I had a really good relationship with him. And then I think that like, it was like, oh gosh, like I, I actually might not be able to work with her anymore, so. Mm -hmm. Now, Daniel had said that when you uh, headed off to the Island of Excessive Advantages, that, that Jenny had let everybody know what was up, 
So, um, did you have that conversation with Omer about, you know, we're heading to a, a ship's wheel and this is what we should do? Or so, did you, how did that work out? Yeah. So like for that conversation, so Benny came back, she told us what had happened. She told us this, the decision he had to make. I believed her. Like, I didn't think she was lying or anything like that. Mm. And when we left for, so we, I had no idea that Shipwell Island was a recurring thing. So I didn't know that like we were going to have an opportunity to like risk our vote again for anything like that. So um, essentially like after that grueling challenge where we're walking up the hill, I'm like kind of delirious. I'm tired. Like we haven't eaten in seven days. Like, and so we get to the, the top of the island and Omar and I are having a conversation, but we're not having the conversation that we needed to have. Mm -hmm. So like, it was, it was like, I said, Hey, I am going to tribal tonight. Like I can't really risk my vote. But the second half of that conversation, which we don't see is like, listen, if it's going to hurt both of us, neither of us will take it. If it's, if it's going to help both of us then both of us will take it. But we didn't talk about the in, in between, like if it hurts, one helps the other. We didn't talk about that. And so when we got to the wheel, both of us were like, oh, well, it's going to hurt both of us. So he's not going to take it. And he's like, oh, it's going to hurt both of us. So she's not going to take it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take it. And so we both made the exact same decision for the exact same reason. And that's kind of where we landed. Um, you're like, both with zero votes. so you're like, these lazy producers, these producers aren't too lazy. They're not going to give us the exact same thing. And then they did. I didn't think about it. Honestly, like you, you would be surprised at how much doesn't go through your head when you're out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I make the best survivor decisions well fed on my couch, <laughs> yeah. with like a drink, like a bag of chips. I know exactly what to do. So yeah. I don't know why you yeah, guys exactly. don't when you're out there starving. I mean, clearly I, I, I missed it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we do a, a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. I'll give you someone's name. Give me the first word or a couple words that pops into your head. Uh, let's start off with Tori. Oh. Queen of hearts. She's so sweet. Like just amazing heart. Queen of hearts. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Huh, Daniel. I want to say chaotic because he had that one chaotic tribal and then we just couldn't recover from it. But I'm going to just say like, I'm going to say chaotic. Sure. Chaotic. <laughs> there are no wrong answers here. Uh, let's try Omer. Omer, puppet master. Okay. Uh, Marianne. Relentlessly authentic. Okay, uh, Lindsay. Level, very like even, very level. Okay, uh, high. I would say short-sighted. Okay, uh, Mike. I'm gonna have to call my, my, uh, my friend Mike a little emotional. <laughs> okay, uh, Jonathan. Mm, uh, can, we, can we skip him? Can we go back well, to him? We can come back, uh, Drea. <laughs> Drea, I would say like kind of stand, I say standoffish, sure. Okay, Jenny. Jenny, queen. Uh, Roxroy. Roxroy, candid. You know exactly what you're going to get with him. Okay. Uh, Romeo. Underrated. Okay. Uh, Lydia. I, I would say just like pretty like go with the flow. Okay, and sure. uh, let's uh, let's roll back to Jonathan. Jonathan, oh my God, I'm gonna just say like, like, ah, uh, I don't even no comment. I don't know, no comment. Okay. Like I just like with Jonathan, I would just say like he's like very much like beloved, but like not. I think I think uh, un un unnecessarily beloved I, I guess like I don't think he deserves the beloved like edit that he, or perception that he's getting so okay. I don't know mm -hmm. uh, you said short-sighted for high uh and boy did he shock us all last week with that uh that Lydia vote uh yeah. why do you why do you call high short-sighted I mean I think he's playing a good game from his perspective I just think that there could have been other options on the table getting to merge uh, because Bati was really like that girl at Merge. Everyone wanted to work with Bati. Ika was like, we'll target Taku. Taku was like, we'll target Ika. Everyone wanted to work with the Bati four. And so instead of being like, all right, let me take a step back. Can I strategically work with these people versus like emotionally being like, no, 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 no. Like I want to work with new people that I just met, like, you know, within the last 24 hours. Um, like, I think that like 
a longer game would have been like, how do I use these people? Um, how do I use these people long term versus like, no, 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 I'm gonna immediately kind of jump ship. But but I mean, listen, like he's still in the game. I'm not. So like, kudos to him. Like, you know, it, it, it's it, it, you know, so True. good on him. Yeah. Uh, you also said uh, chaotic for Daniel and boy, did he have yeah. a chaotic tribal council? Uh, <laughs> what, the first thing I want to know is that they made it seem like hi picked out you whispering to Daniel what was going on. Is that what, what actually what happened or did Hi have some clue beforehand? He had no clue. He had no clue. Even like the idea of me coming back to tribal and like, or coming back from the summit and me being like weird or frazzled, like that's all like, that's not it. Like no one knew. I was, we do see a couple of shots of me going like this or like that, but like that wasn't the case at all. Like quite literally, I was like pretty chill. I got back up to camp, Jenny hugs me and I'm immediately like, good, solid, sold, you know? And so like, I'm, as you can see from my head, I'm a pretty chill person at all moments in time. And so like, that was not the case at all. It was not sniffed out. It was not anything like that, no. Okay, and then take, take me back to you and Daniel falling apart. It seemed like he wanted you to take credit for the decision to target Lydia. Uh, but, I, you know, it, it, it was a weird kind of like, you know, shouldn't we all take credit for this if we're all going to continue to work together? I, I guess I wanted to get your take on, on what exactly happened there. Yeah, like, I'm still confused. And I think, like, I'm so confused about how Daniel would have expected me to play that better. I got off the boat and I immediately told Daniel I don't have a vote. And so he had all the information. I said, I don't have a vote. We need to rethink how we're going to play this. And so um, I would say, like... I would say that like, I, I don't understand why like at that tribal, it was necessarily like Chanel betrayed me because I didn't, I told him everything. I gave him all the information. I think what he probably wanted was me to like raise my hand and be like, well, really we should take out Jenny because, or Lydia because of X, Y, and Z. But like me talking is just empty. I don't have a boat to put behind it. So it's just like, I'm gonna just kind of step out the way. And I think he might've wanted me to step up more, but like, mm -hmm objectively that would be a bad thing to do right and so like I don't know what more he could have actually expected especially when he opened the negotiations with like I'm not negotiating <laughs> right yeah that, that, maybe that like because Jeff, Jeff didn't do that last night he said let's negotiate he didn't say yeah. you guys are getting this rice no matter what that's, right, that's exactly. important negotiation skill exactly yeah uh, now you are the first uh you're the mayor of Ponderosa is the term I've heard tossed around which I I, I have to believe can have some real effect on this jury because if the next person comes in and you're like, I can't believe they screwed you. How would you let them do that? Let's get them. That would that that might take it one way. But if you're uh, if you're like, hey, good game, buddy. Uh, we did our best. Let's let's have some margaritas by the pool and relax. Um, is that is that a responsibility you took seriously? Yeah, I mean, like I think like ultimately, if you love this game like the way that I love this game and everyone else loves this game, like you want to pick the best winner. And so like, again, like emotions aside, you want to just be like, dude, who played the best game? Like I, I respect Tony and Kagi on, like I respect, uh, you know, like the strategy, even if it hurts, um, if it's strategy. Mm -hmm. And so like, I, I mean, I can only like speak for how I looked at it at Ponderosa everyone else has their own perspective of how they vote or how they feel when they get out the game and how wrong they are. But like, I just think it's, it's all like good fun. Right. And like, we love the game. We're going to pick the best winner, regardless of you know how it personally panned out for us. Chanel, you're doing my heart good. That's what I like yeah. to hear. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what was with every, the weird goodbyes last night after you were voted out? It was kind of like, I, I think I was like, I think, in a, inside, like, honestly, I was like a little like, oh, I'm mad that I, you know, mm. got voted out. But ultimately, I think it was just more so you're just taking it all in. You're like, whoa, like, whoa, like, I can't believe this happened. I have a shot in the dark. I didn't play it. These people lied to me. You know, like, it's it's a very human, natural next response of like, uh, like, what do you, what do you mean goodbye? You guys hardly talk to me on the island. But <laughs> but ultimately, like, um, like, it's all in, like, we all just love this game so much right and and I respect that about all of my castmates and I have you know great relationships with all of my castmates and it's like it's, it's cool you know like the goodbye was weird but it's cool well Chanel I am psyched to have you as the mayor of my jury and I think the only proper way to end this is with awkward goodbyes so sure bye Chanel sure, sure. Bye. bye Chanel sure, sure. have a good day <laughs> sure
Okay, good. I was just thinking, like, I still get nervous doing this. And it's been I'm like nervous 14, right now. It's been like 14 years. Isn't that crazy? Really? Wait, why do you get nervous? I don't know. But go easy on me, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs>